Hey, Gil Gutierrez, you know what? Just hanging out with you on May the 31st, heading up on 9 o'clock at night. Just going to sing another song for you. Just lifting up the name of Jesus and the good. Somebody say the good. The bad. Somebody say the bad. Somebody say the ugly. God is worthy of praise. And how many of you can raise your hand and say, God's worthy of praise in my life? And we know that he is. So right there where you're at, cante conmigo, el nombre del Señor es precioso, el nombre del Señor es hermoso. Tu nombre, Señor, exaltamos. God, your name is precious, your name is beautiful, Jesus. Your name we exalt, your name we lift up. So here we go, let's try it out. Precioso, precioso Dios amado, amado Señor, te adoramos, Rey de verdad, te exaltamos, príncipe de paz hermoso, hermoso Jesús, tus ojos, llenos de amor, tu Diste la cruz, moriste pensando en mí. Tu nombre exaltamos, tu nombre levantamos, el nombre de Cristo, el nombre de Cristo. Precioso Dios amado, amado Señor, te adoramos, Rey de verdad, te exaltamos, Príncipe de paz, hermoso, hermoso Jesús, tus ojos, llenos de amor, tu vida, diste en la cruz, Moriste pensando en mí, tu nombre exaltamos, tu nombre levantamos, el nombre de Cristo, el nombre de Cristo. Es más precioso, precioso Dios amado, amado Señor, te adoramos, Rey de verdad, te exaltamos, príncipe de paz, hermoso, hermoso Jesús, tus ojos, llenos de amor, tu Diste en la cruz, moriste pensando en mí. Tu nombre exaltamos, tu nombre levantamos, el nombre de Cristo, el nombre de Cristo. You know what? Just lift up the name of Jesus for everything. And when you pray tonight, just 
be thankful that God, you know, is worthy of praise, glory, and to be lifted up above everything. Jesus is worthy because if we go by what we see with our eyes, man, it's almost like there's no praise going to go up by what we see with our carnal eyes, right? But when you look at things through the eyes of God, the eyes of your heart, we'll be able to give God praise even, and somebody say, even, if you don't feel like it, somebody say, amen. That's what the Bible talks about, the sacrifice of praise. Because sometimes God knew that we may not feel like it, but our spirit needs it and wants it. So, the name of God, the name of Jesus is precious. The name of Jesus is beautiful. His death on the cross gave us life eternally. So with everything that you see in our world today and on the news, I know it'll bring us down. I know if you look at things in your life, they're going to bring you down and in my life. But if you see them through the eyes of your heart and just remember how awesome God is, how beautiful Jesus is, and how just truly, truly a blessing the Holy, of the Holy Spirit in our lives is, man, you'll know that it's going to be all right. So right there where you're at, say with me, it's going to be all right. Gil, I don't know, man. I'll be straight with you. I don't know either. But God knows. And that's what I base myself on. God knowing. Because if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot of, a whole lot of anything. But I do know that God is able. Somebody say God is able. Just praise his beautiful name, man. If you don't know Jesus as your savior, today is your day. John 3, 16, God gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Pray with me. Jesus, I'm a sinner. And I ask that you forgive me. I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart. And I ask you to change my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me a new creation. If you prayed that prayer with me, I believe you've been born again. And I believe that God is going to do a beautiful, wonderful thing in your life. Because somebody says, Gil, what's the whole deal about being saved? You still go through problems. You still got hassles. You still got issues sometimes. Life gets at you. Um, the devil tries to bring you down, amen, to everything, so be it. But I can promise you this. If I did not have Jesus in my life, with everything we just talked about, I don't know where I'd be. And those of you that know Jesus is your Savior already out there say it, I don't know where I'd be. Gil Gutierrez, man, out of Lubbock, Texas. And like I said, man, if you feel sick in your body, Trust and believe that God is able. If you have financial needs, trust and believe that God is able. If you have marital strife, if you have issues in your life, trust and believe that God is able. In Jesus' name, go Gutierrez out of Lubbock, man.